So, what do you think of this new book by Jenny Lombard called Drita? I really liked this book that my son and I read together. I thought it was a really good multicultural experience because it was about Drita who came to the U.S. as a refugee from Kosovo with her family and her, uh, she became friends with Maxi, who was a young African-American girl in uh, uh, the, Chicago, uh, the New York public schools. And I enjoyed... So was it Chicago or New York? It was New York. Okay. So we got the book at the um, Illinois Holocaust Museum, and I like how they weigh, they wove in information about Kosovo and about genocide while also showing how the two girls shared their different cultural backgrounds as they became friends. Oh, that's really good. Mm -hmm. All right, can I ask you some questions about the book now too? Sure, just get behind the camera here. Okay. So Luca, what did you like best about the movie and about the book? Um, book thing. I I liked that it was it was different. That they spoke all that a lot of things were in Albanian. And as you can see from the cover. See I heard Kosovo. Mm -hmm. Was there anything that surprised you? Did you know much about Kosovo when you started the book? Yes, because I am very interested in the death of Archduke Franz Ferdinand and the black can from Serbia that that did, that killed him for Bosnia. Mm -hmm. But now that uh, you already knew about before the book, can you show them? I thought it was interesting that actually not only were the voices so distinct when the two girls were talking, but how they did each chapter in a different typeface even to show the difference, uh, oh, kind I of a different it. voice. So as you can see here, it's like all hit for Maxi, but here old type thing for Drita as you can see it's like it's like this or it's like this mm -hmm. so they used uh, the original language to kind of get a flavor for it um, what about post-traumatic stress syndrome and oh, uh, yes the mom was crazy because the cousin there was caught in the war mm -hmm. and how did uh, Maxie and her family how were they able to help Maxie's grandmother was actually a nurse Mm -hmm. And so by the two families coming together without really knowing much about each other ahead of time, they were really able to bond uh, by their their common experiences, I guess, of, mm -hmm. of trying to raise children and having girls the same age. Yes, very much so. Mm -hmm. And I know when we got the book, because it was about girls in fifth grade, uh, but was there anything, really the experience was more universal though, correct? Yeah. Mm -hmm. I mean, yes. And actually... And when I saw this, I, the weird thing, though, is I wonder how, what, her ba what this author's background is, Jenny Lombard, because I searched this on the Internet, mm -hmm. via the Internet. Okay. And she wrote another book called How to Ruin Your Marriage. Some, some, you know, something like okay, that. so that one we didn't read together no. as a bedtime story, it right? Weird. It was weird. It was like, what do you like about me? I like your thoughts. So you think I'm fat? No, I like it. You get the point. Okay. Is there anything else? Because that's our three-minute timing. Is there anything you would like to recommend to maybe other families uh, why they should read this book? I think it was a great book. And as you can see here, I am not the only one. Okay, great. Thank you.